What is more important when engraving with the FLTT? Beam density or laser power? Hi, this is Verma, and today we're going to compare the three most common lenses on a laser marker. Stay tuned and we'll show you the experiment. Our customer decided to engrave silver spoons. In the demonstration, we have chosen the settings for this task to work on the FLTT 30 watt marker with a 100 by 100 lens. But the customer thought, I want a bigger lens, it'll be faster. Let's face it, we all often think that more expensive, more powerful or louder means better. So he bought a 50 watt 200 by 200 fiber marker and was surprised to find that the machine was not capable of engraving spoons at all. When engraving, the beam reflected off the surface of the material with no effect. What happened? It turns out that when engraving on the FLTT, it is not the power of the laser source that matters, but the power density of the laser beam, because it's important to overcome the refractivity of the material. And that's where density helps. Lenses 100 by 100 and smaller are best suited for engraving, because they have a small laser beam cross-section. As a result, the beam density is higher and the result is better. The 300 lens will give you a larger field size, but the beam power density will be low for the ablation process required for engraving, but enough to heat the material to create an oxide film. And it is this film that gives us the whiteness we want when marking. And 200 by 200 is considered universal. Pause the video and take a screenshot so you don't lose this information. Let's go back to our customer. We changed his lens from 200 to 100 and he immediately got great results. A lot depends on the lens in this business. If you buy a 30 watt machine and after a while you want to work faster and deeper with materials, you don't necessarily need to buy a more powerful marker. You can just change the lens and you have a completely new machine. Now let's try an experiment. We will take a layout and apply it three times to the same material, but each time we will change the lens. The parameter settings will remain the same. The result is very different, so there is no need to buy new equipment for new tasks. Just change the lens, and our managers are always ready to help you find the right machine for you. Let's see how these lenses perform in deep engraving. As you can see, the final result depends on the choice of lens. Ask our engineers questions in the comments. Subscribe and never miss a new video. This is Verma. See you soon.